Well, once a year, the Minnesota Historical Society gives large grants to various groups. For the Minnesota Historic Northwest nonprofit, this means they'll be able to create a new traveling exhibit. As Mel Meyer reports for this week's In Focus. Um, here's one on um, the Botano expedition. Tamara Edival says that most of the area historical centers have artifacts largely from the homestead era up until modern day. But there is really very little on display about before um, the pioneers came to the area. The Clearwater County Historical Society is part of the Minnesota Historic Northwest Group. They received a nearly $95,000 grant to create a traveling fur trade exhibit. They're fun to have because you get a very professional looking exhibit and then we can play off of that with our own local exhibit. Each location in the group will have an interchangeable display case, allowing 15 different commissioned artifact replicas to easily be moved about. At any given time, you could see all 15 stories if you wanted to travel or just wait long enough and Clearwater County will get the next set of stories. She says a lot of tourists stop in, but also a lot of locals. They're interested in the history of the area and even their own families. The traveling displays will hopefully bring back those who have already stopped in. They're a new way to get people to come into the museum because if you've been here once, you might think, well, I don't have to go there again. The group will now work out the logistics for the displays as some locations are only open seasonally or at different times. They'll also look for a company to build the stands and replicas. It's going to be exciting. The group hopes that the exhibit will be available to the public in 2018. With this week's In Focus in Shevlin, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. Clearwater County Historical Society will be debuting its newest military exhibit this weekend. The open house is from 1 to 4 on Sunday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.